while NERSA's decision on ESCOM's third MYPD is welcome. The implications of the lower tariff and revenue approved on ESCOM's operations and overall business sustainability are currently being investigated. This decision is surely going to have far-reaching implications, likely to include the curtailment of some of the supply side, demand side, and energy efficient, efficiency measures currently in use. It is clear that the NERSA decision changes the game significantly, which is why I have asked the ESCOM board, working with the department to evaluate, amongst other things, measures put in place to address the constraint system and current maintenance practices with a view to come up with a more rigorous way to improve on maintenance and ensure power system integrity and system performance, the benefits of which will include improved plant reliability and ensure continuity of electricity supply. All this is to be done within the approved price increase. I expect this to be presented to me in a few weeks, along with policy implications that would require government to decide on. We've set up uh, a clear team with the department uh, to work through all the implications and what then um, do we need to extend support to and how do we then engage with other departments in government. And that work together with the Department of Public Enterprises has started. Uh, from an ESCOM perspective, uh, obviously, we, we our financial year started 1st of April, and we work within our means. We have to. Um, but uh, with the decision came quite a lot of things. We've spoken about the demand side issue, and, and we have to understand if we don't do that, who will be doing that, and who will be making sure we achieve those savings and run these, uh, the, the, the demand side programs. Uh, we've spoken about the coal issues, which are critical. Uh, how will that be addressed in the country? How do you deal with that? We've given some sites. So all of that is what we're finalizing. Uh, the other one, big one, would be our CAPEX. You know, uh, Madupi, Kusile, and Angula, that's not the issue of finishing that. The funding is in place. All of that is done. The question is, most of the CAPEX that we applied for actually was for our transmission expansion, our distribution expansion, making sure the networks are fine, making sure the fleet gets maintained. Uh, and, and we need to understand exactly how do we deal with it. And the country must understand that the application that we've put in and the decision does not account for South Africa's future expansion beyond uh, Kusile. And those are critical issues that must be addressed. So I'm sure that within the next few months we'll finalize this. But this has obviously also got a massive impact on, on ESCOM and we are certainly looking at our own business. Uh, as to how do we have to reshape it uh, to be able to live within uh, those means. The NERSA decision on, on the tariff is fair on the customers, difficult on ESCOM, given a number of operational and other capital expenditure issues that affect the company. It's... it's, it's um, and, and that's what we are reviewing. And that's why we are saying we will live within our means. We need to embark on a rigorous study of what do we need to do in light of the decision. What must we review? Where can we cut off the fat? Where can we reprioritize and refocus in order to ensure that we, we are able to live within our means um, and, 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 and so, as I have said in my presentation, in a few weeks' time, I expect that the, the, the joint team from DPE and, and, and ESCOM will come back to me to say, here are the full implications of this decision. Um, this is what, within ESCOM, we are going to do, but these are the policy decisions that need to be taken into consideration in order to try and respond to this.